Could astronauts be living on Mars by 2035? One of the first men to walk on the moon thinks so. And uh, Dr. Buzz Aldrin is with us today, uh, the author of his new book, uh, Mission to Mars, uh, his uh, vision for space exploration. Dr. Aldrin, thanks for being with us today. Nice to be here. Well, uh, obviously Mars... That should be missions to Mars. Not just one. Well, continuous. Mike Collins wrote a book, Mission to Mars. Disney did a movie, Mission to Mars, which was kind of a flop, but it gave me my rights back to my science fiction story. Uh, you bring up a great point just at, at the gate. Yeah. It's not one mission. That's right. It's, and, it's a de it's, it's, and it's the a mission really is establishing permanence on another planet in the solar system. Well, why, why Mars? Uh, not, why not mm. the moon right now? Well, because moon has extremes of temperature. 13 days of daylight gets very hot and 13 days of darkness when uh, the sun's not up and the heat that was absorbed just leaves and it gets quite cold. Besides, you can't see quite so well. Mm -hmm. And also, all during that time is radiation. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, just a good test of the inter interplanetary HAB module mm -hmm. that I think number three or number four that comes off uh, should get on Mars in preparation for use transit uh, and on Phobos as a uh, control center there. We need a control center at Earth Moon L2 for those that don't know that, it's a neutral gravity point on the far side mm -hmm. of the moon, about 50,000 uh, miles away. But it's short duration out and back mm -hmm. for controlling robots, and that's very important. You know, what is it about setting that destination then? Uh, oh, to, to, very to... important, especially when we can look ahead with Buzz's reminder to the leaders of the country and others uh, to a potential commitment mm -hmm. during the 50th anniversary of the six out of seven landings on the moon. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Well, because the 2020 is a re-election mm -hmm. year for whoever replaces President Obama. So that, in a way, if that person, I won't specify gender, but if that person uh, knows what their future is going to be, they may remind the previous president, mm -hmm. President Obama, to prepare the way, and perhaps it'll be sort of a two-person two mm -hmm. commitment that'll go down in history for hundreds of thousands of years. Within two decades, to have American pioneering the permanence on another planet in this solar system. Can you imagine Earth history <laughs> looked at and the big movement from Earth to another planet is a big deal. Space.com.